Chicago O'Hare International Airport, one of our nation's busiest airports. A multi-billion dollar economic engine located in the heart of the Midwest, in a city run by some of the most high profile politicians, and the hub of two of the most powerful airlines, United, which is headquartered in Chicago, and American. Each day, thousands of men and women work tirelessly to keep O'Hare running smoothly. But despite the crucial work they do, many airport workers live below the poverty line. They are the baggage handlers, wheelchair attendants, and security officers, as well as janitors, cabin cleaners, and other passenger service workers. These working people make O'Hare clean, safe and secure. With a median age of 40, they are largely women and people of color. Many are immigrants and refugees. They aren't recent grads looking to make some extra cash. They're parents trying to provide for their kids, like Keisha Rivera, an airplane cabin cleaner. I am talking about treating people as people, not animals or machines. Airport jobs used to be good jobs. They lifted working people into the middle class. But for years, airlines like United and American have outsourced jobs to low-wage contractors. And now, the vast majority of airport workers can barely get by on their low wages with no benefits and no pensions. Many rely on public assistance, like subsidized housing and food stamps, just to make ends meet. I'm getting paid $11 an hour. We have no health insurance, no sick days. I live with my grandmother, you know. Making her happy is like my main point, cause like, you know, there's times where I told her I, I'm not able to give you rent. And she just like burst down in tears, you know. It's heartbreaking to see the person that raised you, you know, she's like crying. She's gonna like lose her house after, what, 18 years? It's hard. Chicago airport workers have had enough. They know that O'Hare doesn't run without them. That's why they're fighting back, and that's why they're winning. And SCIU Local One has supported them every step of the way. Together, we force the city to do the right thing for these hardworking men and women who are now poised to receive higher wages and union rights. We didn't get to this historic victory overnight. It was a tough fight that lasted more than two years. It was a collective effort led by Chicago's courageous airport workers who refused to let the powers that be continue to put profits over working people. We weren't afraid to stand up and fight for what's right because we know that when working people come together, we can win. Join me as we revisit key moments in our journey to victory. Contracted workers held the rally outside United Airlines headquarters. The group chose to rally on Martin Luther King Day to emphasize a call for change. What are we on? 15! Quinn! Now! No justice! No peace! Who are we? Local one! Who are we? Local one! While braving the sub-zero temperatures in the spirit of Martin Luther King Jr., we brought the heat to the powerful United Airlines. We demanded justice and equity at our nation's airports, and people were arrested. O'Hare workers were fed up with getting their already low wages stolen by their employers and being hurt on the job. They took matters into their own hands and filed complaints with the city, state, and federal government. O'Hare airport workers were fired up, and hundreds voted to hold a ULP, or unfair labor practice strike, during the week of Thanksgiving. At least 500 workers at the Chicago airport say they will strike this week, and they're gonna announce the start date later today. Airplane cabin cleaners, baggage handlers, and janitors expected to be on the picket line. They've been trying to get 15 bucks an hour and better benefits. In a strategic move to build suspense and keep their fight in the news, workers waited several days until announcing the actual strike date. Starting tomorrow, a record number of people begin to travel for the Thanksgiving holiday. But a possible strike could cause some disruptions for those flying through O'Hare. Airport workers often can't afford a proper Thanksgiving dinner and know what it's like to miss Thanksgiving with our families. However, we respect families traveling to be together, and that is why we're holding off our strike 
until after the Thanksgiving holiday. En tanto, miles de trabajadores del aeropuerto de Chicago se irán a la huelga el martes 29 de noviembre, una semana después de esa movilización de miles de viajeros que usan esa terminal aérea durante el Día de Acción de Gracias. O'Hare is the nation's second busiest airport, second only to Atlanta, and there was a concern that a contracted worker strike could disrupt operations during the holiday rush. But we learned this midday that will not be the case as a walkout is now set for the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. The non-union baggage handlers and janitors that clean the terminals, they are backed by the SEIU. They say they are currently making minimum wage and they want to make $15 an hour. SEIU Local 1 and a swelling of allies joined hundreds of empowered O'Hare airport workers on the picket line for their ULP strike. When people come through this airport, they see a shiny train. They see shiny new terminals. They see shiny new floors. What they don't see is the wage theft the minimum wage violations, and those poor working conditions that these workers have to go through every single day. I am not afraid, and I know everyone here is not afraid anymore. All right. <laughs> right now, everyone here standing up and speaking up will not be bullied anymore. You need to listen to these people in order for this economic engine to function properly. We sent a strong message to O'Hare contractors. Stop interfering with workers' efforts to organize for a better future. We helped airport workers keep the pressure on aldermen to support our fight for good jobs at O'Hare. Airport workers lobbied aldermen at City Hall and in their wards. And we placed advertisements on social media in churches across the city against several targeted aldermen who were not on our side. Chicago police arrest more than two dozen United workers and their sympathizers during a Fight for 15 protest. We were back outside United's headquarters and 30 people were arrested while participating in civil disobedience. Years of tireless organizing and unabated political pressure brought us here. By unanimous vote of 48 to zero, the city council passed an ordinance that will soon give 8,000 O'Hare and Midway workers the raise to $13.45 an hour plus union rights. Yeah. We achieved this unprecedented victory by being unified and not being afraid to take risks. We weren't afraid to stand up for what's right. But now comes the second phase of the campaign. We've got to keep fighting to protect and enforce what we've already won. And we have to win good contracts with even better wages and benefits. We do that by uniting in our union, SCIU Local 1. Let's continue to stand strong together, sisters and brothers, because the working people's power is stronger than the people in power.